You ever get that big box of cereal, you know, like this tall? Or you ever get those deluxe sleeves of cookies with like so many cookies? Sometimes bigger is just better. And that's what Two Point Hospital Jumbo Edition is all about. They've taken a game that oozes charm and pizzazz and packed it full with even more. Four expansions, two item packs, and an update bringing remix levels and room templates to the game. What's going on, everybody? It's Akram Switch Force. You gotta check this out. Click the link in the description down below. It's available now on Nintendo Switch and other platforms, but most importantly, Nintendo Switch. And there is just so much zaniness here. It takes a good game and honestly makes it great. This is my jam. These are my tunes. This music, it's so smooth. And this game, this Jumbo Edition, so freaking smooth, guys and girls. They've brought in a Bigfoot pack, okay? They've brought in a Alien Close Encounters pack. They've brought in an Environmentally Friendly Off The Grid pack. They've taken the idea of running a hospital and made it so much more than laying beds and hiring doctors. Like, people get clown infections, all right? People get lightheaded and they actually get lights on their head. This is hospital management, but put through the fun machine, put through the circus and out pops the other end, this glorious game. So make sure to check it out. Link in the description down below. Big thanks to Sega for sponsoring the video. They said, Zach, I know you're a goofy guy. I know you like colors. I know you like confetti. I know you like fun. And we promise you, we have made this game so freaking fun. I said, all right, all right, Sega. All right. I'm this is a challenge. You you have laid the gauntlet down. You're telling me that you're ready, ready to impress. And man, they've done it. The expansions are super cool. They're super crazy, but they are hard. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of what the game you're going to get yourself into is all about. We're about to run a hospital here. We're about to build it up. And I got some awesome items, okay? Because this game includes everything. This, this is the one that just brings it all together. So, you know, we could just chill here with benches, drink machines, all that stuff is fun. And I'm gonna get the hospital actually opening up in a minute here. We got 198,800 big ones, okay? I played this game back at launch and man, man, they've made moves. I love to see it, okay? Sometimes you just need a good snail next to your receptionist desk, all right? This lets people know this hospital isn't just about seriousness. This hospital might be about, you know, we might have a rocket pig, okay? Every every good hospital needs a rocket pig. Who, Who's gonna trust the hospital if there's not a rocket pig? All right, let's get this hospital into gear. There's so many fun new items. And then all the crazy illnesses. Like, it just gets bananas, okay? We gotta hire a receptionist to get this thing going. Um, I've been playing a lot of this game lately. Um, so I am going to just kind of roll through and you guys, I'm just gonna bring you along for the ride. So I'm not gonna explain every last detail, but basically you're trying to you're trying to make a, a hospital. You're trying to accrue money, you're trying to build up reputation, get patients to come, and then help them out. You're trying to cure them. There's all these different hospitals. You can expand, you can add buildings, okay? Eventually, like I said, you're gonna be dealing with Bigfoot, you're gonna be dealing with aliens, you're gonna be dealing with all sorts of problems. But right now, I, I gotta get a heater in here, all right? We're in a cold place. All right, I got an aircon unit. We got so many cool items, all right? I got freaking, where's one of my favorites? Where is it? There's a pinball machine. Let me find it. Let me find it for you guys. This is so freaking cool. Pimp, dude. Come to my hospital because uh, behind the receptionist desk, we got a freaking pinball machine! Alright, so cool. But I need now to find this radiator. We gotta heat this place up, and you can see. The interface is so nice. Everything just works, right? You place it there, it shows it's heating up the whole freaking place. Alright, most of the place is heated. Everybody's comfortable. Everybody's feeling good. Let's uh, let's get one in the back of the hospital over here. Hmm? Yeah, really, really toast them up. I mean, there might be an illness where we gotta actually toast them. I wouldn't put it past this game. We're almost there, gonna heat everybody up. Then we're gonna start hiring our doctors, hiring our staff. All right, and I, I know, this little helpful man, he's kind of like that old, like, the little clip guy. What was his name? Clippy? Paperclip man on Microsoft Word? I liked him a lot, okay? You know, he was a good dude. He was a friend of mine back when I he was a lonely fifth grader. But, you know, now now I got I got work to do, okay? I got to make my GP's office, my general practitioner. I got to lay this down, and I'm, I'm just, I'm in with the moves. I'm going to make a, a swanky hospital. You guys can be like, Zach, I didn't know you had this in you, man. I didn't know you could do this. All right, so my GP office is going to be right here. All right, I like to make things organized, okay? I like to make things very, very nice. We keep it really, really all just in line. Everything is symmetrical. Everything is beautiful, right? I got my trash cans, all right? Sometimes, you know, you need an elephant trash can, but I don't put that one by this lake. She's like, yo, I got I got a fever. I ain't got time for elephants, but, you know, I'm telling you, elephants are going to make you feel a lot better. Um, I need some plants as well. We want to keep the patients feeling nice, mostly toasty. I mean, they already see the freaking rocket pig in the snail. You play pinball while you wait. This is my jam, right? This is my jam. All right, let's find a good doctor. This guy's got green fingers. That sounds terrible. And also, 52,000, man. I don't make that much money. This is the boy next door. 
He's got something to lose, though. Dude, the boy... Look at this guy. Look at his face, man. This man, he do have something to lose. He's been around a long time. All right, so he's going to sit down and chill. He's getting ready for it. I'm so surprised that they've taken a concept that could... It could be boring. Like, look, it, they could have... They could have just pooped it out. And instead, this jumbo edition, like... It's, it's freaking great. Um, all right, I got, I got work to do here. We need a pharmacy. I always like to have my little pharmacy. Um, I'm actually going to put my pharmacy... Well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my pharmacy. I'm gonna, I want symmetry. You know, I said I like symmetry, so we're gonna go right here. Um, just keep everything kind of, kind of cool. Um, you gotta walk by the snail if you want to get access to the pharmacy. A little spinner machine that helps everything go. Um, regular bin. I don't want, I don't want to scare the patients too much. I love the plants too. I don't know why. I think they just add a little bit of, a little bit of nice pizzazz. Oh look, Granny's playing pinball. You know she's coming back. All right, let's hire a nurse up here. Um, and it does a really nice job of onboarding. You know, I think games nowadays struggle when they have complex concepts of like, how are you going to convince everybody that this is what we got to do, right? This is what we need. Like, how, how are we going to teach everyone all of these ideas, all of these concepts? And and Two Boy Hospital over here is just really... I'm impressed. Like, you guys know I'm genuine. You know I'm honest. You know I'll call a dud a dud. I don't think this is a dud. I don't think it's anywhere close to a dud. I, I think it's just really, really... A magical experience and it just it has like this like zest right it feels like they just fell in love with their game you can tell that from developers i don't know i, I don't want to just you know sing from the mountaintop but I'm, I'm kind of like i'll be honest i when they told me like hey you want to check out our game i was like okay i trust that you've made adjustments but i'm not quite sure that they're gonna do it for me okay because like i had fun with the game initially but i stopped playing and, and this all the additions all like the extra stuff like this goes a long way for me like having some pinball machines okay having a bigfoot expansion having freaking elephant hooves like this my rocket pig are, are you kidding me right now this is the charm that i needed to see to really take it to the next level um, i gotta get a janitor up in here they're already telling me they want me to upgrade my drug mixer um usha cyanide or Branwin Pussyfoot. Clive Piggott? Dude, this guy's inspiring though, yo. All right, get over here. Get over here. All right, um, you know what we need? We gotta make sure our hospital has a lot of good stuff, okay? So we want a snack machine. I'm a man of the people, right? What do you want when you're playing pinball? You probably want some drinks. You probably want some snacks too. Um, maybe you wanna check out some leaflets. Give people some things to look at in our city. I don't know what we got going on here. We got a theme park, got a water park. Do all that goodness. Um, all right, here we go. Beautiful. Hmm. Doing good work. Just laying some plants down, you know, spreading. Spreading the love of Mother Nature, really, in all the corners. What else we got here? We got some interesting stuff. Fossils. I can... Oh, look at look at all this. A fascinator. Y'all want to be fascinated? I don't want to make my lobby too crazy, but at the same time, get fascinated, my dudes. All right. One thing every hospital freaking need... Oh, a fracture ward. Okay. We got some people with bone issues, all right? And there's things are starting to really speed up. So I, I got I to gotta focus. All right, hold on here. Um, temperature, we took care of that. Um, this person, oh, fracture ward. Wow, frac we need wards, fracture. Oh, wow. Yo, okay. I'm going to pause so I can get this building going, all right? We need a ward and a fracture ward. Um, so we got, this is a, probably put the ward back here. See, I like to build, you guys should be proud of me. I like to build very, very, um... Everything just is like nice. It's got its place. It's organized, you know? I really try to do this the right way. Really try to make you guys proud. Proud of me. Um, for all the stuff that's on the screen as well, like there's a lot going on in this game. And once you get the hang of the controls, you can kind of fly through it. It's pretty impressive in that way. Um, I got some more space over here. So this is where we're going to get our fracture ward. Where's our fracture ward? Oh, we also need a staff room. That's our pans lab or clown. We got we got a freaking clown clinic, my friends. We got a clown clinic. All right. Um, there's my four by three little fracture ward. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bigger in case. Cool. Not too big, but I don't know. In case people, you know, people. I don't know. They 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 break some bones. This area is supposed to have a lot of broken bone problems here. So I want to make sure that everybody's taken care of. What the heck is this? Oh, these are the beds. Attraction bed. Okay. Yo. All right. See, we needed this extra space. We really did. We really did. I'm going to get in here and put... Dude, I, these broken bone people, they need the strength of an elephant. All right? So throw that elephant bed in there. Um, we also need to start adding our fire extinguishers around the place just in case. I don't know. Sometimes you catch 
things catch fire and I don't, I don't want that to happen i'm also gonna put a charity dog in here yo look at the dog feel happy all right great we need a, we need a, some more some more docs we need some more people to get hired up in here um bigfoot's commute one of my favorite songs of all time howard chunder howard chunder uh, he, he we, we don't need a doctor we need a nurse right um so we need nurses for the world i'm sorry mr chunder Forgot about that. These wards need guys like Vladimir Pike. Oh, Vladimir Pike is nasty. Gregory Carnage? Okay. Greg Carn dude, Carnage is the perfect guy to work in the fracture ward. He knows what's up. He's seen a lot of he's seen a lot of things in his time. <laughs> he really has. Alright, and then we're gonna have to go with this guy. He's a talented skimmer of stones. That seems like the perfect guy for my ward, okay? Um, let's get the let's get the show on the road again here. These people are all gonna get working, get moving. Um, alright, so we are locked and loaded. My drug mixer. I need a staff room. You got to keep the staff happy, even if it's the back of the hospital. You got to make sure that your staff, like they're living lavish, okay? So, three by two is what you need, but I'm going to give them a little bit bigger space. I like to really impress my staff, okay? I like to make sure my staff are taken care of. I like to give them some, some luxury couches, all right? I like to give them that armchair setup. I like to dance with them, all right? I like to give them a lot of love here. You know... Um, I'm gonna let's see place that room. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some things that every, every every person working here would want drinks Freaking cookie machine And then you know, I'm gonna give them some good stuff like uh, You know, I don't know maybe a fossil a little fossil in front of the window Sometimes you gotta dress it up for him Okay, and I know I know these people want their own pinball machine I know it. I know they don't want to wait for Granny to finish the pinball machine, so we're gonna put there and a test your strength machine. Look, this I only the best for my freaking for my people. Only the best. Ooh, dude, we could put a jukebox. I'm gonna put the jukebox out, out in the public area. I want everyone to juke it up. There's also oh, dude, you know what? The real ride? Are you are you serious? Are you serious right now? Yeah, this is how you keep this is how you keep a hospital rolling. Oh man, both ends of the hospital are getting ducky. There we go. All right, um, I'm gonna let's get I don't know maybe a plant or something. What do we want? I'm not a cat person. That's terrifying. I don't want I don't want my doctors to second guess where they're working. But I do want some nice plants. You know, keep things airy fairy. And did we did we put a trash bin? I don't think we did. Let's put a little let's put a little trash bin. Beautiful. All right, perfect. That staff room is kicking. All right. Oh man, we got a lot of people coming to our hospital. You can see on my reputation, raising the roof. Gosh, this guy's so cold. He's got broken bones and he's cold, man. Dude, somebody get this guy a heated blanket. Oh, wow. People, I made a million bucks, but people are waiting for the war. Look at these people. They're all lining up. They're like, dude, okay, we might need another ward. Or you know what? We might have to buy another building. I think I'm going to build another ward, though. We got to get, okay, we need more beds. Oof. Okay, so we got to really stretch this out here. I don't want to, you can't crush it right there. Um, I'm going to have to get more doctors soon in front of the plant okay mm, let's put it let's see if i can put it right in this corner yeah right there and then right there that way i have all this space for beds okay a little bit of space really get these beds in here rotation station yes i did this just right so many beds baby that's how we do it all right now i'll just get my few little things in there little bin boop and a plant. I always give him a plant. Uh, you know. Oh no! Did I not? Did I screw something up? I've started exploring. Hey, hey, hey! What? I've oh. tried hypnotizing myself what about a plant? Okay, I have no, I have no room for the plant. But I find listening to my own voice works best. Oh no! I sacrificed a trash can for a bed. No, 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 no. We can't do this. Hold up! I want to show you guys this as well. You click on a room, and they have this nice edit menu. So you get in here and be like, Yo, I goof. I can just, uh, I can just click this, and I can wait. Not the bed. I don't know. Not the bed. Not the bed! The trash monster. There we go. Sell that off. And I need to put another bed down, alright? We ha we just have to get another bed. Hey. Okay. No, we good. Alright, another bed. That's that's more important. They can throw their stuff away somewhere else. Um, alright. This guy's going over here to help out. We got nurses. Another ward, and this is gonna be good. Nobody's nobody's over here. I think I need to hire somebody new. I'm I'm My profits are good. My profits are good. I'm actually running a great hospital here. I actually probably could use another doc, but I think we just need a lot of nurses right now. 
Um, yeah, there you go. All right. We're doing good. Look at this. This is how you just cruise and bruise. Well, no bruising. I promise. My hospital only gives the best results. Ride the duck. I want to see someone ride the duck. I want to see someone pet the snail. Pet the... <gasps> Are you going... Oh, playing pinball. Everybody wants... Oh, dude. He was not even impressed by our pinball. Come on, man. What hospital do you know has pinball? All right. So when you're feeling fly with your hospital, like, look, this is going really good right now. You can see all my people this great above head view. Um... I don't think I have anyone that can upgrade my drug mixer right now. But I was going to say, we go buy another building. You get in here, you can upgrade. I don't have someone that learns mechanics right now. So I could probably hire a, a new, let's see, hire a new janitor. Anybody in mechanics? Uh, that's a head janitor. Dude, I'm going to get you. You seem like you know what's up. You seem like you're going to help keep this place running. And you can also upgrade my drug mixer. I got to cure 50 patients. All right, I'm gonna speed things up because sometimes you just need the game to go fast. Um, all right, our doc is taking a break. We only have one doctor. We probably should hire another doctor just to kind of keep the staff going. Ava, weak bladder, but a pigeon at heart. Ooh, or Jessica, inspired. Will work for peanuts. Yes, there you go. Get busy with it, Jessica. All right, what's our illness? Ooh, thermal comfort of 75%. Absolutely, I got that thermal comfort. I'm at 60. Percent. I mean, ooh, they're airlifting patients in. They know, they know this is the place to be. They know this is the hospital. All right, we gotta go way down the list. Scroll it, scroll it, scroll it, scroll it, scroll it. I can't believe we have jukebox. And we have dream catchers? How fun. All right, cool. Where, where else do people need to be thermally comforted? Probably like right here. Seems like right here, maybe. There we go. All right. Um, I guess here. Yep. Okay. And then probably like right here. Yeah. Should we we should probably comfort the people in the in the in the ward like you guys are going to freeze your tushes. All right, there we go. Where's my broken bone places? People, where are they at? Uh oh, earthquake warning. Please no. Please no. There we go. Thermal comfort. Everybody's got to have Yeah. Oh god. What's that? What's happening? Oh no! Please don't break my pinball machine! Or my freaking rocket pig! I think we're okay. I think we're okay. What is this? Alright, I'm curing people. I'm doing good. I'm promoting staff. Yes. Completing the request. Reporter is visiting. Ooh. Please. Oh gosh, I got a radio reporter coming. Dude. And like, this is just the beginning. Eventually, like I said, you're contesting with the expansion packs. You got the aliens in Close Encounters. You got Bigfoot. Like there, it just keeps getting wilder and wilder and you really like, I'll show you in a second, we'll go to the map. I mean, first of all, I can buy new buildings here. I can go over and I can expand. Um, I can get like a new plot here to add a new portion. You know, I can, you know, pick up a parking lot, put down a, a hospital. What's that song? Put up a parking lot. Well, they already put up the parking lot. Now it's put up a hospital. Um, right now that, that, ooh, okay, get, gosh. Goodness gracious, get in here. She's visiting, the report is visiting, but you can't expand extra buildings. And then you have a bunch of hospitals and you can run them all. And they all have different like requirements, categories, challenges. It's, it really is just tantalizing to your brain if you're into these sort of like micromanaging, but also like checklist challenges, but also, you know, like decorating a little bit. Cause you, you do, it benefits you. It's not like I'm just putting the pinball machine for goofs and giggles. It's like, it's there because it is helping build the reputation of my hospital and helping build all my, my jazz. Um, uh oh. Ooh, or with witchcraft. Ooh, that's gross. Somebody's got a gross little problem going on here. I think my hospital's quite, oh, they're cold. They're so cold. All right, let's get let's get a little radiator for the staff. I, I don't want to forget about you. I don't want my my healthy, healthy, happy hires to be freezing. We just radiate in the center of the room? Yeah, that's how you get it done, man. I'll also give you a dream catcher. Dreams are important, man. Boom, there you go. All right. Visiting, oh good, visiting the staff room, the reporter. Perfect timing, perfect timing, okay. Everything is running like a charm. Now I got this hospital, you can see I'm queued up nine patients here, but otherwise we're pretty good. People riding the freaking ducky, finally. We chilling like a villain, we operate in a profit. Our reputation is boosting. I hope the tour gives us a lot of reputation here. Uh, but I'm ready to expand. Um, let's go, look, I'll show you. you guys, like we build this here, boom. I put that down. I gotta keep my thermal ready. It's building this in 13 days. What did the reporter think? What did you think of the hospital? What's your report? You better you better give me a good little jingle on the radio. 
Zach's little hospital, warm as a freaking fireplace, fun as a theme park, and um, expanding too. Hey, ho, let's go, two days left. I love that the, the radio reporter has been here for like three weeks. Uh-oh, queue outside the GP's office, good. I'm building another one, that's why I got this new space here, man. So I got this new space, so we're gonna get a receptionist desk, a meeting, and so, see, like, here is where all of a sudden it starts getting wild. You gotta be quick, you gotta be really quick. Because you're gonna have to build, you know, multiple things and fast, right? To make sure that you're taking care of everybody who's here, making sure you're taking care of all the patients, all the diseases you're about to encounter, all the different issues and people, the issues, and the people that are about to start coming into play. Um, you got to make sure that you got everybody covered. You got to make sure you got everything taken care of. And you got to be quick. It's like good to have fast fingers. But you can always, of course, pause the game like this. So if you do want to, you know, just put, you know, your cat person in your hospital and say, hi, you know, I have a cat person. Check it out. Or you're like an ex-lizard. You know, this, this, this is important for a hospital. Y you can do that as well. You don't have to feel too pressured. I mean, you always want to move quick. You know, you always want to get your, like, your carnival kiosk here so you can... Provide people with some food and, and whatnot. Um, but it's pretty cute that you can pause. So if you need a little more time, you don't have to feel like it's too stressful or too wild. And and it just it just appeals to me in that way. It's totally different than anything else I've been playing on Switch right now. And that that is really good. I think the variety is the spice of life right now. Variety is where it's at. Um, and I, I'm just kind of smitten with this right now. And, and much more than I thought I would be, which... It's always, it's a good feeling for me. You know, I'm, I'm hard to impress. I'm tough to please. So when I get impressed, I, I really, I really appreciate it, man. I really, really do. All right, let's kick this hospital back into gear. Um, I need to go over here and get somebody hired. People are going to start coming into this side of the room. We need an assistant. Uh, probably Chris Mann. Cool. And then we could use a dock. Not a room, a dock. Not an item, a dock. A dock. Like, so we could sail. Ship on a sail? There we go. All right, so this is like, this hospital is now kicking and rolling and growing and feeling fancy. And let me just show you, I can pause this stuff and go back out here to the map and check this out. I'm gonna show you this. You can just swap around your hospital. So I'm working here on Tumble. I'm trying to get, you know, to a higher level here. Um, I can continue, I can restart, or I can just say, hey, I'm gonna go over here. You know, I got this one, Mitten University. And then these are my hospitals I've been working on already. There's Flottering, you know, you got this whole map and eventually you're gonna expand and fill out and explore so much. Explore the expansions, explore all the crazy items, which by the way, grab the items really early on. You can unlock them from the get-go. You, you have to play a little bit to unlock um, the Bigfoot levels and to unlock the Alien Close Encounters levels. But you can get those items right off the bat. Let me show you how to do it real fast. Um, if you hop back to your hospital here, I love that you can just micromanage and kind of move around if you want. But if you go to your items here, you filter and you go down, you can see all the items from the different expansions. So here, let me let me show you real fast. Um, we got the retro uh, exhibition, all these fun things that you want to unlock. And then you get your little money and you can spend your money. So I can go here, mm, what do I want? A nice a sculpture. Maybe I like a bureaucrat's post or a seasonal painting, a wicker chair. You want to get really fancy? You want these people to live like in some sort of flipping resort home? Give them some wicker chairs, baby. Let them play pinball by the wicker chairs. Actually, that's not a good idea. I actually, I, you know what I, for, oh, I did put benches in this side. I did not put any uh, seating arrangements here. I'm so sorry, people. People need to sit, man. Sit in your wicker chairs. Feel fancy, okay? Feel fancy. I'm gonna be building all day. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Make sure to check out the game link in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. You wanna show some love and show some support. And uh, until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. This is Two Point Hospital Jumbo Edition. And by Jumbo, they mean awesome. And by Jumbo, they mean charming. And by Jumbo, they mean my favorite. So until next time, everybody, thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. I love you a lot. Switch Force, out.